Hi, my name is Charlie Gale. Um, I grew up in Salisbury, Maryland, um, 60 years old, and um, I started surfing in Ocean City, Maryland back in 1967. Because I grew up uh, as an athlete um, in a poor neighborhood, and our, our, uh, our outlet was sports. And so um, everybody did the football and basketball, a little league, baseball, peewee league, football. But I noticed one, one day Y World Sports had the Duke Hanamoko uh, contest. And it just, it just blew me away. I just stopped and I couldn't get away from the TV. Um, I just was so impressed with it. And um, of course, uh, my mom didn't like the fact that I was interested in surfing, but anyway, <laughs> that, that, that was hooked right there <clears throat> in front of the screen. Um, and then uh, from there, it just, I would see little glimpses. Uh, I'd go to, uh, um, uh, on vacation or something uh, uh, to uh, New Jersey. And I'd see surfboards sticking out of the back of uh, vans and things like that. And I was like, oh, there's a surfboard. And everybody would laugh. <laughs> oh, yeah, right. But um, that was my first recollection of surfboards and getting close enough to where I could actually touch one. My first board was a Dexter. Um, I saw one uh, in a department store. <laughs> and, of course, uh, I went shopping with my grandmother. And, and uh, I just got everybody, everybody would look for me. I'd get lost. And they'd go, Where is that boy? Where is the boy? And I'd be standing by the surfboard because I just had to touch it. And I figured, you know, man, one of these days I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to ride one of these things. So I finally got one. Um, it was a used one. Uh, um, and uh, the thing about surfboards, I think, is pretty standard with anybody, uh, any kid anyway, especially, is you get your surfboard. You want to take it in your room. And this thing was almost 10 foot long. And uh, I live with my grandmother. Uh, to get that thing in the house, it was just, I would have to break it into three pieces to get it upstairs. So my grandmother had a fire escape uh, out the back. And so I tread up that thing with that, with that surfboard, climbed through the window with it, and I got it in my room because <laughs> I was laid on the bed, you know, I stood on it. I was like, oh man, this is, this is neat, you know. But um, when I finally got to, the, got to the beach, it was a whole different scenario uh, than standing on a bed on a surfboard. Uh, a lot of work. Got paddled, get out. You got to learn how to sit on it. I'd roll over on my side. Thing would flip me off. And I was like, how in the world does anybody stay on this thing? So I, I had my, I had, it was a challenge for me, you know, at first. But when I first stood up, caught my first wave, that was it, man. I, I knew I had to, I had to surf.